Mertz Chapper here with another Big Brother Canada eviction interview. I am here with Jedson, and let's get right into it. What happened in the competition against Tara? Man, it was a, a stress-filled competition, that battle back. Uh, it took a lot of patience, a lot of finesse. But at the end of the day, like the pressure, just knowing your life is on the line and trying to focus and get those balls sitting on a ledge. It's such a simple task, but it's very hard in the moment. And I got to give it to her. She really kept it together. Her back was against the wall and she won that. So I have nothing but respect for Tara right now. Who do you blame the most for your eviction? I have to blame Kiefer and also give him respect for it. I mean, I put him on the block the week before. It really tore him down. He thought he was going home for sure. We ended up saving him. And I just know that he didn't forget about that. So when given the opportunity to orchestrate a plan, to use my loyalty against me and keep me on the block even after winning a veto it was smart and i understand now why he wouldn't give me his vote when i fought so hard for it you decided to use the veto you want to save beth instead of yourself what went into that decision that decision was solely based on just my loyalty and my faith and my alliance I, i've always been a team player i put the team before myself and i'm very selfless so when given the, the option to use the veto on Beth and have Tara put Braden up as a replacement, me thinking that my alliance had my back, they would vote Braden out and we could all stay together moving forward and get to that final three goal that we had. Can you tell me more about the relationship you had with Beth? Was it game or were there real feelings? It was definitely a relationship that was built initially on game. And then as we progressed through the game, it became more and more personal and uh, it became my strongest game and personal relationship. So overall, just my strongest relationship in the house, definitely true feelings there. Definitely someone that I'm going to maintain a relationship with outside of the house. And I'm really looking forward to that. Um, obviously I respect her decision to, to vote me out in the end. I knew that she had to do that for her own game and me using the veto on her just shows that I trust her and I want her to go far in the game. Uh, were you more loyal to Ty or Beth, and who would your ideal final two have been with? When the game started, I was definitely more loyal to Ty. He was the first person I met in the house. We had an instant connection, and we were literally brothers throughout the entire game. However, my game relationship and personal relationship progressed at a different level with Beth, and I think that I was much closer with her by the end, and given us three in a final three situation, I definitely would have taken Beth. And I told her that from the beginning, she was my number one. Can you break down your alliances with the Sunsetters and the Sauce? Were you loyal to both or did you have more loyalty to one versus the other? Yeah, I mean, from the very beginning, it was always the Sunsetters. We had that solid six and the goal was to get to the final six with our people. Unfortunately, in week three, when the toy got voted out, we knew that was impossible, but we could stick together as a solid five. And then as the game continued, um, I started to realize that my true loyalty was really lying in the sauce. It was the three of us. And I just thought that at the end of the day, I was going to put those two ahead of anybody else. And that's where my true allegiance was. And that showed when I used that veto trying to keep us together. Um, Tara revealed a lot to you before and after the competition, including telling you about the trap door to get you out. What surprised you the most about what she said? Well, the whole thing surprised me, I'm not going to lie. But um, I mean, what surprised me the most was just hearing that Kiefer was the one that orchestrated it and that Ty and Beth were on board with it. Obviously, those are my two closest allies. And I was pretty heartbroken to hear that they were so down for it. Um, I'm not as surprised as to know that Kiefer came up with it just because I know he's a mastermind. He's a super fan of the game. And I did him dirty the week before. So I, I wasn't too surprised about that. But just knowing that Beth and Ty were, were into it and were going to go along with it was the most surprising part for me. Tara told you that uh, it was Keeper's idea to get you to use the veto. So I want to go back to the decision to keep Keeper over Tina. What went into that decision? And would you make the same move again? Yeah, well, putting Kiefer on the block, I just knew that him and Tina were, were day ones, and I thought that they had a final two, and I saw them as a trio with Tara. So I thought that in my HOH, I need to split them up no matter what. So I put Kiefer up, knowing that either way, I'm splitting up this trio. And he was the target when I put him up. However, he really talked me down from it. Uh, he told me 
that if he leaves, I'm going to be the biggest target in the house. And he really played on my emotions when it came to, to how he saved us multiple times throughout the game and had been loyal to us. So my thought process was that he would continue to be loyal and that he was someone that I was riding with from the beginning. And it was mm-hmm. really hard for me to vote him out in that situation because my heart is just too big to do that. So we, we, uh, we, we settled on voting Tina out. But if I could do it again, if I was going to put Kiefer on the block, I should have voted him out or not put him up at all. Um, if you had gone back in the house and given what Tara told you, would you have realigned with the sauce or would you have gone after them? Uh, it would have been a situation where I went after them to some extent. Uh, I think I still would have worked with Beth no matter what. However, if I were to have won HOH, it would have been Kiefer and Ty on the block no questions asked and I would have gone one of those guys out for sure but I, I need you need alliances in this game so I would have worked with Beth and maybe got closer with Braden moving forward but Kiefer and Ty 100% would have been my targets not including your own which elimination was the best for your game and which elimination was the worst Ooh, um let's see elimination I'd say the the worst was yeah I would say the worst was Latoya going home in week three. Um, although I did put a fire under us and made us really get our stuff together, I was the most heartbreaking for us. She was very close. She was super loyal and she was a shield. I knew that moving forward she would be a target ahead of us, and it could have put us in a in a better situation. We would have had all of the six sunsetters still in the game, so that was definitely a tough blow. Um, I think the best elimina- uh, the best elimination for us was Austin uh, on day 34 because I knew for a fact that she was not telling the truth to us. She was lying. She was going to come after us if given the opportunity. And we put ourselves in a good situation with Vic as the invisible HOH to not target us and target her instead. So that was one of the best weeks for the sauce in the game. Speaking of that, how surprised were you that you managed to survive the invisible HOH week? Oh, when I tell you my heart was beating out of my chest on that couch, I would be selling it short. I, I 100% thought that Tashawn and myself would have been on the block with a replacement nominee being Beth. I, I thought anyone who would be invisible would take that shot because we were seen as the biggest threat in the game. Fortunately, we really salvaged a good relationship with Victoria. Even after sending Latoya home, we made sure that we kept that relationship strong and she had her back from that time. And that's the exact reason why we kept that relationship. So... I was super surprised, but we put ourselves in a good situation. If you had the chance to pick one house guest to give a message to now, who would you pick and what would you say to them? Oh, um, I would, uh, who would I pick? I think I would have to pick Beth and just tell her that she just can't trust anybody in the house. Like you, you can't, like I, I would tell her to work with Tara She's probably one of the most trustworthy people in there now. Um, And to even watch people like Brayden, who she thinks she's been close with, but has been saying things behind her back a lot. So I would just tell her to be wary and uh, play for yourself. And and alliances are out the door now. So just play for yourself and do what you can to get to the end because that's all you have. One person wins the game. Thank you so much. I hope our paths cross again soon. All right. Thanks, Merck.